Last week, Central and North Texas experienced some extreme weather conditions. In fact, here at our farm, we had a tornado that came through, didn't touch down, but 70 to 90 mile an hour winds. After learning that my family was safe and that our home wasn't destroyed, the trees didn't hit any of our vehicles or farm equipment, uh, <laughs> a, a tree that could have fallen on the porch fell in between the porch and another tree. The next thing I thought about was my garden. There were five things that we did that really helped save most of our garden. And I wanted to share those with you so you can protect your garden from extreme wind. Number one, use heavy duty cattle panel and secure it firmly into the ground. These T-posts have been driven in at least 18 inches and they are checked on a regular basis to make sure that it's secure. They were secured to the T-post with baling wire, so we know that it is sturdy. Tip number two, plant as early as you can and train your plants to go up the trellis. So think early and vertically. <laughs> if your plants are trained to go up the trellis and the trellis, such as the cattle panels, is secure, then your plants will be secure as well. Tip number three, Practice dense planting. As you can see, these scarlet runner beans are thick. They're dense. They held onto this fencing, held securely, and they helped to protect the tomato plants and pepper plants that are grown in the soil tubs with them. Tip number four, choose hardy, wind-resistant plants. As you can see, my tromboncino squash, my cucumbers, my scarlet runner beans, they did really well, very well in fact. My tomato plants that were grown in the Crack Key hydroponic tubs going up some tomato string, I lost about 25% of those because they're just not plants that are wind hardy. Deep rooted and flexible plants are more likely to survive. I lost a few of the vines and some leaves, but I didn't lose an entire plant. Tip number five, combine your barriers. As you can see, I have fencing and I have tubs and layering help to protect the plants. What do you do to protect your plants from the wind? Inquiring gardeners want to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to the Growing with Glenna YouTube channel where I'm trying to help gardeners so that we can grow outside in this ever-changing and challenging outdoor garden. Thanks for watching.